Madeline, oh my gosh, I truly cannot believe the day is finally here and that it's only a few short hours until you're going to be my beautiful wife. I've pictured this moment for so long and now that it's finally here, it feels like a dream. Wow, the day is finally here. I feel like I'm living a dream. I don't want to miss any moment of today. I hope you like this special pocket square that matches our colors and has something blue for you. I love you so much and I cannot wait to be your wife. You're so beautiful and amazing and kind. Madeline, when I was growing up, I always heard all the other little girls talking about their future weddings and planning all the tiny little details they'd always dreamed of. Um, and it, it made me feel kind of bad because I could never visualize my own wedding. All of that changed when I fell in love with you. All of a sudden I could see it, I could picture it, and I could feel it. And not only that, but I was so crazy excited about it. I am wildly obsessed with the life we've built together and the life we'll continue to build together. I promise to love you and to be your best friend. I never thought this day would come either. The journey that has led us to where we are today wasn't always easy, popular, or encouraged, but it was always worth it. There have been times where our relationship seemed difficult or impossible, but we've worked together to prioritize what was truly meant to be. I promise to never stop prioritizing our relationship and to never stop choosing you. I promise to never stop noticing those little details and to always, always be excited to learn even more of them as we grow older. I promise to encourage you when you find new passions and dreams. Promise to care for you unlike anyone's cared for you before. I promise to take, I promise to never take for granted the way you push me to be better and to always go after my own dreams no matter how crazy they may be sometimes. I promise to never forget how insanely blessed we both are to be here on this earth, constantly surrounded by so much love and support from our family and friends. Welcome everyone. I am Rachel. I'm Megan's sister-in-law and um, I'm honored and excited to be able to officiate their wedding ceremony for them today. So Megan and Madeline, do you, with your family and friends as your witnesses, Present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined in marriage. We do. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I give you this ring as a symbol. I give you this ring as a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness to you. Of my love and faithfulness to you. I will love and honor you. I will love and honor you. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. So, you made it. Take the hard part. <laughs> so there are just a couple formalities before we wrap this thing up and get to go celebrate. So first the pronouncement. Madeline and Megan, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, who, by the way, did not background check me at all, <laughs> and by the state of Washington, under the eyes of a loving God, I happily pronounce you wife and wife. You may kiss the bride. This time, I give you Mrs. Madeline Peets and Mrs. Megan Collier. I'm a reader and I love words and I know you guys know that about me. Um, I find a lot of wisdom and encouragement, but encouragement from books and blogs and 
I read this a couple of years ago in a Jen Hatmaker book, and I just wanted to share these short little words of wisdom with you both as we wrap up um, about what makes a marriage work for the long haul, and I hope they're an encouragement for you and um, that they stick with you when challenges arise in your marriage and that you both feel this way 10, 20, 50 plus God really years together. So. Thousands of times during a life built together, you walk up to a moment and choose. I choose your happiness, your health, your well-being. I choose to build you up rather than strip away. I choose you over the fake shiny other who promises something better. I choose forgiveness because otherwise we are hopeless. I choose to believe in you. I choose this life we've built, these kids we've created, this legacy we're forming. I choose God in you and me, making us more like his son, writing a lovely story with our life together. I choose you, and I would choose you all over again.